If you're a JV and you're trying to become varsity, this can be like one of the most what do I do moments, right? Because this kid's either been wrestling longer than you, he's bigger than you, he's stronger than you, he's older than you, whatever. But the point is you're JV and you're trying to be varsity. If you're on this road and it's a long road, you have to understand that this kid has been working either harder more or both like everyone starts at about the same area depending on your athletic ability you start more or less like on the same starting line let's say you guys both start on the same spot and both have the same athletic ability but since he's two years older than you he's gotten two seasons worth of practice within one season you should be able to get halfway there but if you run every night then it'll push you a little bit further if you lift it'll push you even further if you go to a second practice it'll push you even further right if you do these things to push yourself further into the direction you want to go you will go in that direction it's not a secret it's not like it's not magic it's just hard it's just about dedicating the time that you're given to wrestling in order to surpass your opponent. Nothing is ever just given to you. You'll never just, just by showing up and like going through the motions of practice, you'll never get better. You have to actively think. You have to think for yourself. What do I lack? Where am I slipping? Where am I losing? Why is he beating me? Is he faster than me to my legs? Can I not defend? Or is he throwing me every time? Or am I getting inside tripped? Or is he beating me from the top position? Or is he beating me from the bottom position and then getting around me and then controlling me? You know, there's like, there's a million different variables, but you have to think for yourself. You have to actually look at the situation and think, what do I do? Because every week you get a chance. Every week you get a chance to prove yourself and it's another opportunity to win. You have nothing to lose, nothing to lose except for a little bit of energy by wrestling off. No varsity wrestler, if you're watching this, no varsity wrestler, should ever feel disrespected by having a JV kid wrestle you off. You should never feel disrespected. He has every right to the varsity spot as you do. Um, he has every right to work as hard or harder than you and beat you. All right, so it's up to you. Be working to the best of your ability to maintain that spot. Don't let yourself get surpassed. Now, if you get the varsity spot and plan on keeping it, then you have to maintain that same level of work ethic. Just working really hard at one point and getting ahead is not enough. You need to maintain that work ethic throughout the seasons if you want to keep your spot because there's always hungry kids there's always kids trying to beat you there's always kids trying to trying to win you know what i mean they're trying there's always kids trying to win so you need to be doing everything you can if you want to keep that varsity spot that means every aspect of your life has to be firing on all cylinders right your personal life needs to be in order you cannot be having drama and bullshit go on this will this will tear away from your wrestling so much if you have stupid bullshit going on in your life your diet needs needs to be on point. You need to be eating enough, enough. You need to be just eating enough, enough protein, enough good carbs, like fruits and vegetables, nothing in a package. You should stay away from everything with a package, right? Soda, anything sugary. You should change up your cardio. Don't just run. You should do sprints. You should do bear crawls. You should do like change everything up. You don't want to get used to your workouts because that's when they become easy. You want your workouts to be difficult every time. You want to push yourself mentally every time. Don't ever think because of the way you look, if you don't have abs, if you don't have big biceps, if you don't have a big chest or big shoulders, a big back don't think that you can't win a wrestling match don't don't let that discourage you don't let the fact that this kid is the coach's favorite discourage you from putting up a fight you know what i mean you have to give it your all because you're the only person out there defending yourself how can you show that you're better than someone if you don't give it 100 percent effort do not be nice to your opponent do not do them any favors do not like set them down nice like you have to be moving and you want to keep the flow going when you wrestle don't be choppy and when i say choppy i mean like don't think of your wrestling moves in steps they teach you wrestling moves in steps because you have to do multiple things at once but they it happens all at once does that make sense so when you're cross facing and you're circling and you're getting elbow to elbow like when you sprawl all those things happen the cross face getting elbow, elbow to elbow and you start circling sprawling and circling all happen at the same time. The same thing with everything else. It happens at the exact same time. It's three things, three, four things that you do at once. So don't get it twisted. I see a lot of kids making that mistake and it's really frustrating. But if you guys like my video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. But until next time, I'll see you guys. Peace.